Hello, President Buhari. This is Dr. Kemi Amalulululayar. I'm a retired clinical pharmacist in the United States, a public relations specialist, and of course, a broadcast journalist. All three first class degrees. I'm a very intelligent woman. President Buhari, I have an appeal for you. I understand today, the 11th of May, 2020, you have asked the presidential task force to go to Madagascar and get their herbal cure for coronavirus. Well, it sounds great, but there's a problem, President Buhari. You, as the leader of the presidential task force, need to know exactly how things are done. We have a health system that has completely collapsed. Well, let's go to the best health system in the world, United States, that has also collapsed. Before you go ordering for the Madagascar cure, we have some processes that we have to go through before we can administer it on any of our patients. The NAFDAC agency is the agency that's supposed to be regulating these kind of things. But of course, you know that NAFDAC has been a fraudulent agency for years. Okay, now it's time that we regulate how things are done. Pharmacy is not regulated in the country. In case you didn't know that, President Buhari, any idiot can go into a drugstore and ask for an antibiotic. Yeah, everything is almost over the counter. You can just ask for it and buy it. So let's start to improve that first, but let's go back to the Madagascar herbal cure. President Buhari, you see, I'm gonna give America as an example because I trained there. When a new drug um, breaking news has been discovered, the processes the United States Food and Drug Administration, which NAFDAQ is modeled after, is the first to get into it. The FDA, United States FDA has to do something. The person that made this magical cure has to do an NDA. An NDA is a new drug application, okay? But because we're in a pandemic, the NDA might be almost impossible. Things are too slow, so we have to make it fast. All right, assuming an NDA is done, the company that made that product has to state every single ingredient in that product. I am a clinical pharmacist with expertise in HIV, fertility drugs, pharmacognosy, and pharmacotherapeutics. Pharmacotherapeutics, exactly how drugs work in the body. Pharmacognosy, the study of drugs from its herbal roots. Almost every drug came from an herbal root. And many of those herbal roots are right here in Africa, including aspirin. But because, of course, Africans are not as intelligent as they see us, I personally try to make a lot of Nigerians become intelligent people like me. But most of them don't consider me the most intelligent woman in Nigeria because they're idiots. Many Nigerians are smart but not intelligent. SBNI, the phrase I coined on the internet, smart but not intelligent. The goal is to make every Nigerian intelligent. And so, because Africans as a whole have not developed this intelligence for years, 100 to 200 years, the Western world, the white man, the Chinese, everybody outside this Africa has put their hands in Africa and they've made all these magical drugs from our own herbs. Let's go back to the magical cure. I think I'm beating around the bush, but it's critical information, President Buhari. What we need to know, okay, I said pharmacognosy is an expertise of mine, the study of drugs from its herbal roots. We need to know what's in the herb combination that cured the coronavirus in their country. Was it really coronavirus that they cured, or is this just a money gimmick? Let's start this way. If the FDA were to look at this, there'll be an NDA, new drug application, and there'll be testing. You have to test this drug on three different subjects, and that's how all drugs are tested. A placebo, somebody that doesn't even have coronavirus, they have to drink that herbal mixture. Someone that has the virus, they'll be drinking it. And of course, someone that's had the virus and they've been healed and they've gone home and they have antibodies, you know, blood that's rich in antibodies and all that stuff. Okay, all three have to drink it and we'll see the effect on them. Now, the placebo is very important. Even though the placebo is that one that does not have that disease, we have to know how they feel after it. 
do we have those kind of testings in Nigeria? No, I haven't seen anyone. Today, no one's using lab rats anymore. It used to be, oh yeah, use the lab rats. Even the rat doesn't want to be near you. They're already causing lots of fever here. Rats are busy, President Buhari, very busy. They're causing lots of fever and other things all around the country. And they know that NCDC is running after them. So there's no way you're going to find rats to test. You have to test human beings. A placebo, one with coronavirus and one that's healed. Do you have the money for that, President Buhari? Yes, we do have the money. Are you ready to spend it? You should be hiring me to be part of that presidential task force. You should be hiring young doctors, okay, who are in the habit of striking, striking, striking all the time because of low salaries and all that. Give them work. A clinical pharmacist like myself and some young people in the community where coronavirus has hit the most. Maybe some young Hausa boys and girls and some young Gregorians. This is how you form a presidential corona task force. That's how it's done. But while you have a shitty task force, let me give you some advice, President Buhari. Before you go flying that stuff out here, okay, and poisoning our people, let's know what's inside it. Mrs. Moji Adeye, Professor Adeye, the director of NAFDAC, you said you're going to conduct tests on chloroquine. We haven't seen them to date. Over 47 billion naira has been spent by the NCDC on coronavirus. Professor Abayomi, a medical doctor who's in charge of that Lagos task force, he's also the commissioner for health. Abayomi is doing his best, and his Twitter handle has nothing but, oh, he's discharged 60 people, 40 women, 20 men. What are you treating them with? There's a combination that's working so far. Before this disease really got to the stage it got to, the first two days of the disease, I was the first person in Nigeria to talk about chloroquine. And I talked about chloroquine in depth. People didn't take me seriously because they don't take me seriously in Nigeria. Then when it was mentioned by President Trump, everybody was screaming, oh, Kemi Olunloya talked about it. Here's a drug that we used here in the 70s and 80s to treat malaria. In Plaquenil, hydroxychloroquine, a hydroxy version of the chloroquine alone, is used in America for other things. Mixed with Zithromax, a Zithromycin. Is Zithromycin is here in Nigeria. It's used for skin infections and other things. It's really a broad spectrum antibiotic to some extent, but it's 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 a four day therapy. Zithromycin Z pack is like six, you know. At the end of the day, that combination seemed to cool down the coronavirus, and what does it do really? I mean, building the immune system stronger and making some more antibodies, white blood cells. We have the intelligence, hire us, let us help you with this. But before you go running to bring the Madagascar kill, which I'm not saying it's not good, you gotta look at their population. That's a small African country. They've had no deaths, okay? And they've had a little bit of cases. This is an island that's sitting on next to Africa. It's Africa, but at the same time, you got to look at Nigeria and other parts of Africa. We have weather that contributes to certain things. For example, northern Nigeria is hotter at some, during some seasons than southern. In the winter, African winter, Hamatan, northern Nigeria is colder than down here. These are factors you have to look into when you're assessing a drug. Will the same combination work for coronavirus patients in Nigeria? Yes and no. Until then, I hope NAVDAC is watching this video, Professor Adeyeye. That herbal mixture must be tested. I'm not happy when I heard it on Sahara Reporters this afternoon that President Buhari has ordered some plane that's going to go through Equatorial Guinea to go pick up some drink. <laughs> oh my God. Coronavirus, shit is real, shit is real. Download my song, Coronavirus, I you Corona, soundcloud.com slash Liar. I'm Dr. Kemiolun Liar. Thanks for listening to this broadcast. The time right now is about 8.30 p.m. on the 11th of May, 2020. It's a Monday night. Thanks for listening.